First question is from Dave Essay. Go ahead. Hi, Gavin. Hey, what's going on? Just curious, yesterday the first ball put in play came right to you. Was that kind of a relief getting your first opening day start and getting that out of the way? Yeah, definitely. I think anytime you can get the first out of the way early like that, uh, it just kind of takes any nerves, um, especially on the defensive side of the way. And the uh, rest of the game, you just kind of go play. So uh, the earlier you can get the first out of the way, the better. Is it something tangible, Gavin, where you got results early in spring training that got your confidence growing? And were you able to – how much more did it grow yesterday with the type of game that you had? Uh, yeah, I think anytime you get results, it's always like a nice confidence booster, but not necessarily I don't base how I feel on results. Uh, it's more on actually li literally how my mechanics feel, how my swing feels, how I'm handling the at-bats. Um, so really for me, that's kind of where, where I'm putting my focus towards, and uh, uh, that's really it. Thanks. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey, Gavin, uh, this year when Dave Roberts talks about it, he talks about just kind of like the clarity that he sees in you and your growth really kind of on and off the field. When you hear things like that, as a player, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I think it does mean a lot, especially coming from your manager and somebody that you respect a lot. Uh, so to hear that coming from Dave, it definitely means something to me. And uh, it's a confidence booster, but um, yeah, anytime – Something like, you know, your manager says something like that, it definitely holds more weight than uh, maybe if someone else said it. And now that the season's here, I mean, do you, what is your, kind of your focus now as you continue through these next five, six months? Just win. Um, be, uh, be like a, a table setter at the bottom, um, grind out at bats, uh, just get out there, play hard. Have fun, dive around, you know, try to make as many plays as possible. But really, it's just win. Like, uh, that's really the only focus. And um, I think that's kind of the same for everybody. Thanks so much. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Hey, Gavin. When uh, Dave Vesey was asking about your confidence now, it made me think, what did last year do to your confidence? Did it, did it rock it a little bit? Uh, not really. Uh, I think just a kind of a weird year last year. Um, I don't think it really hurt or it didn't help, but it didn't hurt either. I think, you know, I, I've always had confidence in myself, so I don't think um, it ever really faltered, faltered. Um, but it definitely didn't help. This, uh, this spring, the phrase that Dave keeps using, kept using when we asked about you was, you're going to get a runway to play regularly. What is that? phrase mean to you and uh, is it you know does it mean you don't have to look over your shoulder uh i don't know honestly for me it's just uh whenever i go play um and i get an opportunity to play just go play hard and uh that's really it i don't really look too far into um you know what a runway might mean uh i'm just going out and playing and, and the rest will take care of itself i'm not really too worried about it how have you simplified your swing this year? What have you done? Yeah, I think in my setup, uh, I've raised my bat off my shoulder. I kind of quieted down um, all the excess um, hand movement that I had last year. Uh, so for me, it's just a more repeatable um, swing, and it's less susceptible to slide steps. And over the course of uh, 162 games, it's just more repeatable and more sustainable. So. Where did that come from? Was that working with the hitting guys or did you do that on your own? I think it was kind of both. Uh, I wanted to simplify. I wanted to be more repeatable. And I think they agreed with that as well. Um, so it was kind of everybody was on the same page with that. Um, so that, that made it easier as well to kind of make that adjustment. Thanks, Gavin. Yep. Next question is from Howard Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Gavin, uh, 20,000 fans in a normal year isn't much, but how did it feel playing in front of 20,000 last uh, yesterday? It was awesome. Uh, it felt like normal baseball again. You get out there, you see fans, you see the energy that the crowd brings. Uh, it makes the world a difference. Um, so for me, it was like, wow, this is normal baseball again. It's, it's a ton of fun. Uh, it was just great seeing fans out there, man. I, I can't wait to get back to Dodger Stadium and then see those guys. Is it hard to imagine 50,000? <laughs> Yeah, 20,000 felt like it was packed, so 50 would 
uh, would be a little, a little extra. Yeah. Um, and, and you mentioned, you know, you want to win. Um, do you have any personal goals, you know, as you kind of go into your first full season as a major leaguer? Um, statistically, not really. I think for me, it's just uh, figuring out like a process that works for me every day in my routine and, um, you know, just growing as a player every day individually and, and just trying to get better. I don't think st statistically I'm not super worried about it. Uh, at the end of the day, if I take care of my process and handle my routine and what I'm supposed to do, at the end of the day, it'll take care of itself and the results will be there. So uh, it's just uh, my routine sticking with it. Have you ever batted seventh or eighth regularly in a lineup? I mean, I know it goes to show this line is pretty deep. When was the last time that happened for you? Uh, honestly, I don't think I ever really hit too far at the bottom of the order. So uh, it's, it's a first. But look at who's ahead of me. And there's a lot of really, really, really good players and really good hitters. So, uh, you know, if I could be a pest at the bottom, that's what I'm going to do. Thanks, man. Yeah. We've got time for one more. Go ahead, Kirsten. Thanks. Um, earlier this spring, Gavin, you had mentioned that you spent your off season working with Chris Taylor and Dino. Dave said we'll see you mostly at second base, but how much did that time in LA and just training with them really help you this year? Yeah, a lot. I think being around other players who have done it, been around like CT and we play, you know, shortstop and second, similar positions. So I can pick his brain. Um, he can pick mine or we can talk about, you know, how we're feeling that day, our swings, our defense. So just having another guy that uh, you play with and plays similar positions uh, is nice because you can bounce the ideas off each other. And then obviously having Dino, um, they're hitting ground balls and going over video and throwing BP. I mean, he gets after it just as much as any of us. So uh, it was huge to have both those guys out there. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, everybody.